everyone and welcome back to Fashion with Jen. Today's video, I just wanted to make something so you could get to know me a little bit better and uh, state some random facts. And I am filming in my bedroom today. Yay! <laughs> um, so all of you get to see my room. Um, I also have my cat Skittles. He's right below me. So firstly, this may be something that's pretty obvious, but I'm going to state it anyways. My first name is actually Jennifer, but I came up with the nickname Jen when I was in about third grade. I just didn't want to write my full name anymore, and I wanted to have the shortest name possible. So Jen with one N is the simple nickname that I came up with and I tell everyone my name is Jen but my family they are the only ones that call me Jennifer <laughs> so my family calls me Jennifer and then everybody else calls me Jen <laughs> fact number two my birthday is March 3rd which makes me a Pisces I'm a little fishy and I was also, with Chine Chinese Zodiac, I was born in the year of the dog. Woo! Third fact is that I currently have six pets. I have two cats, two dogs, and two guinea pigs. And you may think that is a lot of pets, but to me, not really, because growing up, I think the most amount of pets I had was like 15 animals at one time, something crazy like that. I've grown up with animals and as pets my, you know, whole life. If you get to know me at all, you'll know that I love my cats and adore them so much that I am a crazy cat lady. So you can just say I'm a crazy cat lady even though my sweater has a bunny on it today. My top three favorite animals would have to be number one being a manatee which is like the cutest, chubbiest sea cow ever and I just adore them. I fell in love with manatees the first time I saw one in person, which was at SeaWorld. I don't remember what age I was, but I was in elementary school, and I fell in love with them ever since. My number two favorite animal is a harp seal, because have you seen one? They are so adorable. I mean, what's there not to love about them? And number three is actually cats. So I am a crazy cat woman, as I stated, but cats do come number three for me for my favorite animals. My favorite color is purple. Even though um, I'm wearing all pink, I, I mean, that may be confusing to you. And my room's all blue, but my, my favorite color is purple. <laughs> I used to be a competitive gymnast when I was younger, and it just was a huge part of my life and my number one goal was to be a part of the Olympics and I felt like, I mean my training was so intense and crazy and my life was filled with you know practicing every single day and competitions every weekend um, it was such a big part of my life that the Olympics was the ultimate goal and I was already kind of like in training for that before but due to it being incredibly expensive my parents could no longer have me in the sport anymore which was kind of a letdown but then I learned that there's other things in life than living in a gym 24-7 I got to socialize with other people and I did really enjoy that, but I'm not going to lie, the gymnast is still within me. I still love doing flips and people still ask me today saying, are you a gymnast? And for me, I was a gymnast about, I don't know, a long time ago and I did gymnastics for like 11 or 12 years of my life. 
So, I mean, that's a long time to stick with a sport, especially if you're practicing five days a week, six days a week. Yeah. <laughs> but people, they ask me if I'm still a gymnast, and I'm like, no, I was my childhood, and it just never left me. I do love to dance, and dancing is just a fun hobby of mine. I do have a second YouTube channel where I do post dance covers. Which brings me to another fact. I have two YouTube channels, if you did not know that. The first YouTube channel is called Freeze Motion, and I created that YouTube channel because I wanted a YouTube channel, and I wanted to post content, and it started off kind of random at first, and then, I mean, that channel's still pretty random, but I leaned it more towards k-pop dance covers just because that was what was most popular on that channel and I liked having a theme and I really enjoyed fashion and makeup and I mean I don't feel like I'm very good at makeup though even though I really <laughs> enjoy it and I buy a lot of it um, but yeah fashion is like clothes I love it so I wanted a, another YouTube channel dedicated just to fashion which is why I also made this channel called Fashion with Jen and I wanted the name to be short simple and catchy and easy to find because with my other YouTube channel name it's complicated spelling with like numbers and underscores people are like I can never find you but if they can find this channel they can probably find my other channel and yeah <laughs> So YouTube is just another hobby of mine. I also like reading books. I like, um, I used to love collecting manga books. That was my thing in elementary school to high school. Um, I don't know, I have, mm, I have maybe 650 manga books that I collected growing up and I still have them. <laughs> Um, but I also like reading regular books too. I like a uh, kind of fantasy, romance, adventure type books, or I like books that are similar to the Gossip Girl series, like all these backstabbing and all this drama. Uh, I don't know. I just, I like reading books like that. <laughs> I do watch anime and I also like watching Korean dramas. Right now I'm currently watching an uh, anime called Kamisama Kiss. It's kind of more childish and girly. I think it's like a shoujo beat manga uh, made as an anime. But uh, my favorite animes, what are my favorite animes? I really like Sword Art Online, I like, uh, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, Madoka Magica, <laughs> that is like a huge one. I love Sailor Moon, I grew up watching Sailor Moon as a kid. Um, I also really like, um, there's this horror anime called Another, I like that one, and I like... Noragami. I think it's called Noragami. Um, those are like some of my favorite animes. With Korean dramas, I've watched so many. Um, I've even watched Japanese dramas and Japanese movies. Uh, <laughs> currently I'm watching a Korean drama called uh, While You Were Sleeping. Um, it has Suzy in it and I can't remember the guy's name. I see him in so many dramas. Maybe I'll list his name here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have two episodes left of that show. The very first Korean drama I ever watched, which was probably the same as everyone else's, Boys Over Flowers. I saw that when it was brand new and let me tell you, I was hooked and really it is still one of the best Korean dramas out there, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I became a K-pop fan back in 2008. I first started off with the Wonder Girls and Big Bang. I loved them and then 
from there, like, the K-pop horizon expanded for me. Unfortunately, though, a lot of the K-pop groups that I really loved, um, especially while I was in high school, um, they disbanded. And that just saddens me because a lot of the new groups, they don't kind of have, like, I don't know... There's something missing there for me with a lot of new groups. Um, there are some that I like, but there's some I just feel like they're not as good. And I'm sorry if I offend anyone, but I just don't think they are. <laughs> Currently, my favorite K-pop song of the moment, though, is Peekaboo by Red Velvet. So my favorite like boy K-pop groups, BTS, Big Bang, Monster X, Block B, Shiny. Uh, those are five that I can think of at the top of my head that I really like. As for girl groups, a lot of the ones that I'm into, like Disbanded or Don't Really Make Music, because I liked 21, I liked 4 Minute, um, Tiara, I do like Brave Girls, they still make music. I don't know if Tiara Disbanded or not, I'm really confused. Um, what's the fifth girl group that I like? Well... FX. I like FX. There we go. <laughs> I like FX. I don't know why it's harder for me to think of girl groups that I really like versus boy groups. I'm just like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Other music that I listen to, like I don't, I don't just listen to K-pop, but K-pop is and has been like a big part of my life. Um, I also like alternative rock music. I like kind of the indie music. I like some styles of EDM music, um, I like metalcore, which is like a mixture between like heavy metal and alternative rock kind of put together. That's how I would describe it anyways. Um, I also like some Japanese uh, rock music such as Cold Rain and One OK Rock. Those are my favorite. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, I guess whatever sounds good to my ears is what I like, but that's mainly what I listen to in terms of music. Back with the whole K-pop thing, I forgot to mention, I started a dance group, a K-pop dance group for my high school, and we performed for Martin Luther King Day assembly at our high school, and we went to other high schools and got to perform dance, and... It was a lot of fun, and that was something that really, like, pushed me out of my comfort zone because I was so shy to talk in front of a lot of people and dance in front of them, and I was like, oh my gosh, it was so nerve-wracking, but it turned out really great. I think they still have the K-pop club now. I'm not, not 100% sure. <laughs> so my school district had the Cherry Blossom Festival, which was at different high schools, and me and my friends would dance K-pop and perform kind of like a talent show. That was always fun. And then we got to also perform for some festival in my city. And that was really great times. I kind of wish I could do that again. I'm not going to lie. I love dancing on stage for people. It's just, it's something I really enjoy. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked getting to know me. And comment down below if you have anything in common with me at all or something that you found interesting about me or questions for like a future Q&A video. That was a lot of things. Um, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content from me that's mainly going to be fashion related, not really chit chatty related. <laughs> And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I'm just going to dance out this outro.